Hey Greyhound fans, I'm visiting with head football coach Bob Bartolomeo. We're talking uh, spring football with one final spring football report of the year. And Coach Bart, you just finished the spring game. The uh, Grey team defeated the Crimson team, came back for a 17-14 win. Uh, it was a good, it's exciting game, good turnout. What were your overall thoughts today? Well, a uh, couple of things there, Ryan, that uh, happened. One, uh, nobody got hurt, and uh, so we were happy with that. But uh, two, I think the kids had fun. We had a draft. We did it uh, a little differently this year. Our uh, seniors were able to draft. A, uh, uh, we split the seniors up, and they had a draft on uh, Thursday night, which they enjoyed. And so, uh, you know, we really had a little bit of uh, uncertainty coming into the game. We didn't know how clean a game it would be. But it ended up being a pretty good game. So, uh, you know, kids got involved with a, uh, a uh, game time type of atmosphere and uh, were able to perform. And uh, some of them did a good, very good job. All right, you had, uh, we got a good look at all three of your quarterbacks today. Uh, Mills played, I think, just the one series, and Ogden came in and relieved him the rest of the way. And uh, Barthel went the distance for the Crimson team. He, got, he looked good. I think he was 25 for 28. So, talk about your quarterback play today. Very, very happy with the quarterbacks, all three of them, and uh, thought that Chris did a good job. He had a 12-play-plus drive there, that first drive, and uh, hit some pretty good passes. We, we know what Chris can do, and, uh, you know, so we, uh, you know, there wasn't much for him to prove today. Uh, the battle is for number two, and uh, I think that battle is uh, going to keep going through uh, fall camp. Uh, both Caleb Ogden and uh, Connor Barthel proved that they could move the football and did a good job. And as you said, Connor had a good day. But uh, uh, you know, without watching the, the scrimmage yet, uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure uh, who came out on top in terms of uh, the number two caller. So that'll be a battle, uh, you know, along with some uh, good freshmen coming in. Okay, defensively, uh, I know you had a couple couple big plays there by a few of the defenders. Nick Weeby had the pick six at that proved to be the game winner. Talk about your defense. Uh, overall, we're pleased with the defense and uh, the way they uh, came to fight each and every day. The thing about the defense is we have a lot of competition at almost every spot. And uh, so we have, uh, you know, four corners that are going after it and uh, going after that starting position. We have uh, safeties, two safeties, and uh, Ed Casaro in the mix. Uh, we'll have some safety competition. Uh, linebacker, we have a lot of competition up in that uh, segment as well as up front. So uh, the defense throughout the spring did a good job of competing every day, and uh, you know that hopefully is going to make us a better football team in the long run. So uh, I thought that uh, you know again without watching the tape, uh, you know you you always uh, a guy that returns a touch an interception for a touchdown is always the the focal point. But uh, overall, there was some good. Good play on the defensive end, and uh, you know we're quite pleased with what they did this spring. Okay, well, with the, the spring wrapping up here, I know that the players have finals coming up, and, and what else are, are you, you have planned for them this summer? Yeah, they're uh, you know they're off now and, until uh, you know uh, uh, we get going a week I think after finals with their summer program. Our strength coach, uh, we'll have a meeting tomorrow. It'll be the last meeting uh, with our team, uh, and our strength coach will. Uh, uh, give them their summer workout books, and uh, you know, then they're on their own. Uh, we can't have much to do with them this summer, so uh, they're, they'll be lifting, running, and uh, working on their skill development. Uh, but uh, uh, we got a good group, and got a good group, uh, got a lot of leaders on this football team. So we're we're looking forward to the fall, and uh, I think the uh, Greyhounds should be in the mix uh, uh, for some real exciting football come this fall. All right, well, thank you for the time, Coach. That wraps up the spring football coverage. We hope to see you at Key Stadium this fall. Thanks for watching.